Well, he's everyone's favorite medical expert. Please welcome Dr. Oz. Yeah. Somebody. Great to see you. Thank you very much. Well, I love your show because health and fitness is a top priority in my life. And you got to make health uh, a priority in your life because if you don't have that, you can't enjoy anything else. But even more more than a priority, it's going to be fun. What I've learned right. more than anything else on the show is if it's playful and uplifting and people celebrate who they are because they take pride in who they mm -hmm. are, then I don't have to make it you know, different. I don't have to sugarcoat it. I can just say, guys, high five it. You're doing great in life. And when it's fun, you're going to be consistent with it. Yes, you'll See? do it forever. Much has been made about Angelina Jolie's double mastectomy and a bit of controversy. What's your take on it? First of all, she's a very, very brave woman to go public about this very personal decision. For her, without question, she did the right thing. The controversy stems because people say, well, if I don't need to get this test or if I don't know if I'm going to benefit from this test, should I get it? So anyone, listen carefully, anyone out there can hear my voice. If you've got a, a family member who's under 50 with breast cancer or are you worried about the family history in you know, whatever regard? Go ahead and get the test, but don't overreact to it. The question I keep wanting to ask, and we're touching on the show this week, is what are you going to do? You know, what, what, what's your decision here? Right. If you know that you got a risk for breast cancer, is it enough of a risk to do something about it? And that's the future of medicine. Aside from being a doctor, you're also a parent. So what, would it, what advice would you have for, for young people in Hollywood like an Amanda Bynes or, or, or a Lindsay Lohan who, who seem to sort of uh, struggle with the transition um, in the community here? Well, you know, I, I, as a father, I had this conversation with my own kids. And Daphne, as you know, hosts The Chew uh, on ABC. Yes, that's and, right. and she you know, went through this process. And I told her what I told all the kids. I want you to fail. I want you to fail because I love you. And I want you to not worry about it for that reason. But you're going to fail because that's how you're going to learn and get better at what you do. And these young folks need the opportunity to make those mistakes, get back up again like everyone else can. I want to tell the ladies out there that you may not know this, but Dr. Oz is currently on the cover of Women's Day magazine. This is a big deal because I believe you are only the second man ever to be on the cover of Women's Day magazine. And JFK, I believe, was the first. John F. Kennedy was the first a long wow. time ago. Great yeah. company. Well, I feel very honored, of course. Uh, it's a great organization, mm -hmm. the, the Hearst Group. And we work with them very closely on these magazines because I know that they'll do the right thing presenting the data. And they challenged me. They said, listen, we get in a lot of calls from, uh, from our readers, and I get the same calls from my viewers, that, that people run into to, to, to problems when they try to lose weight. I mean, right. Particularly, they, they plateau out, or they just can't seem to do the simple things right. right. And so I try to break it down, give people very uh, you know, affordable, understandable, accessible ideas, so you can start doing it today. And I'll give you a couple examples. Okay. A lot of folks say, well, you know, I can't organize my day right. The biggest message I can give anybody who's trying to go on a diet is don't make any decisions. Automate everything. Mm -hmm. Eat the same breakfast, the same snack. You won't trip up, and that day you'll be on your diet again. Right. That's how you build up numbers. Is there one superfood that you should incorporate into your daily life? I love blueberries. Blueberries or brain berries, they have those rich, dark yeah. hues. With some cottage cheese, it's oh, great. With, oh, with cottage cheese or Greek yogurt, it is yep. the best. It's best by morning go-to meal. Yeah. And, you know what? Right. Take that from Mario Me as a favor, guys. Just make blueberries on cottage cheese or, uh, or some kind so of dairy. yogurt, yeah. And not skim yogurt uh, or either. I right. want it to be fat, you know, 2% fat yogurt, because right. it turns out if you take the fat out of yogurt, you're left with sugar. That's right. So make it real food that right. your body can recognize. Enjoy it, you'll feel satiated, and you will not be hungry. Dr. Oz, so great to talk to you. I could talk to you all day. Be sure to watch Dr. Oz in the Dr. Oz Show weekdays on ABC. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>